What is up everybody, it's your boy Will. We're back again with another Snacks and Strats video. Today we're gonna be covering Dragoons. Uh, next in line was Swordmasters, but I already had the script for this kind of written out over the weekend, so Swordmasters will come next. As always, if you're new, welcome to the channel. We've just got Tactics Ogre content up. Right now we're doing a Let's Play using the One Vision mod. And uh, we've also got this guide series that I call Snacks and Strats, which is gonna enable you to take your gameplay to the next level and uh, get through the game and all these uh, alternate timelines you can do in post game. So grab a snack and chill out for a little bit. So today we're gonna be talking about Dragoons. What can we say? Dragoons are courageous individuals forged from the same fiery pits as all dragons. The creed of dragoons are the premier beast killers, PETA's sworn enemies, and valiant defenders of the front line. They are elite soldiers that even possess a bit of magical training, and having one in your party while hiking through the Farampa woods, descending into the Palace of the Dead, scaling Mount Weebury, or on your chapter 4 travels through the northern parts of Valeria will surely increase your odds of survival. They've got a couple of key skills. Dragonfly is the first of those. It's one of my favorite skills in the entire game as it allows the Dragoon to teleport into an adjacent tile, which is great for bypassing Rampart Aura or getting to a different elevation for safety or setup. In the video, you're going to see a point where I try to reach Dragon, but I cannot because of his Rampart Aura. So I use Dragonfly move up the extra space so that I'm in front of him and then I can hit the dragon for big damage. So dragonfly is awesome. The second set of key skills are the dragon slayer and dragon bane skills. Dragon slayer is going to be this unit's bread and butter. It allows him to deal extreme damage to dragons on top of a guaranteed hit. Alternatively, the Bane version of this, so Dragon Bane, readies Dragon Slayer not only onto the Dragoon, but also his surrounding allies until their next melee. So now your allies have this until their next melee, and it allows them to quickly wear down a dragon. And the same property applies to the Beast Slayer and Beast Bane skills. So those are also key skills, but they basically do the same exact thing except for Beast units. Notable skills after that, Dragoons can use instills on themselves, so think of those as just minor little damage buffs. You've also got access to Draconology and Teratology or Tetraology. Those are going to be your skills that are going to increase damage output for both dragons and beasts respectively. I normally don't really care about these skills that target other races, but on the Dragoon, I kind of see its value. Next up is Parry, of course, it's going to be great when you're up in these units faces, or if you're in the front lines as well, it's going to help you survive a little bit. Reflect Magic can also help, especially if you're running a avoid based Dragoon but mine tend to be on the bulkier side, so you might not even need Reflect Magic in my opinion. Overpower, like always, is fantastic. Make sure your hits are hitting. And then in terms of wards, in terms of magic, they can use missile spells, the one, two, and threes. Uh, they can also use burst spells, which deal crushing damage on their adjacent tiles and right now we're in the middle of a debate not really a debate but a situation where the community feels like burst spells are a little bit lacking try them out your mileage may vary but i think the key aspect of magic where dragoons are absolutely fire is when it comes to their minor area debuff dragoons can use one minor debuff from whatever elemental tree you spec them out for and uh, let me just run through those for you real quick because it's pretty cool so each of these spells is going to affect a four tile radius so you know the, the typical standard area so you've got for the air you've got a slow spell deals a slow in an area for earth you've got the stagger and fall strike spell uh, for electric you've got a area stun spell for water you've got a poison and tp removal in an area that's pretty dope 
For fire, you've got weaken and breach in an area. That's pretty dope. For ice, you've got a TP reset, which is fantastic. And then for divine, you've got silence, which is just a single tile. And then for dark, you've got wormhole, of course, which is that lead in spell that deals percentage based damage, which is perfect for beasts and dragons and other bulky units. In terms of gear, Dragoons have a plethora of options, including the one-handed and two-handed variants of swords, axes, hammers, and spears, in addition to two-handed katanas and cudgels. They can also use one-handed crossbows and one-handed fusels. I've always personally enjoyed my Dragoon being Jonin and his default kit with the spear. He's able to deal above average damage from a distance due to his ranks in Draconology, especially when paired with the Melta Fire Spell, which is that one that uh, weakens and breaches in an area. Dragoons can also use heavy armor, evasion vests, helmets, armored leggings, physical based and hybrid based gloves. This makes them extremely versatile and well rounded when it comes to damage output and bulk. In terms of synergy, Depending on the magic element you choose, Dragoons can synergize with a variety of units and playstyles. In the video above, at one point my Varden uses Enrage on turn 1, boosting my Dragoon's damage, and he also helps open up the enemy lines alongside my Terror Knight through the use of their Breaching Axes. Do you have a couple of melee DPS like I did in the video above? Try running the Ice TP Reset spell in order to keep those dragons and beasts TP free while you hack away at their scales and talons with the squad. You have a bunch of glass cannons with low RT? Try using the air slow spell for more opportunities or the electric stun spell for RNG gimmicks. Are you a fan of stalling their front line? Try the water spell that poisons and removes a little bit of TP. You could also let in folks with wormhole, the dark spell, which is especially good on dragons and beasts because of their high HP as well as other tanky units like I mentioned earlier. So what are my final thoughts on Dragoons? Well, I still wish that this train wasn't interrupting if you guys heard it. <laughs> but Dragoons are excellent units to have in your army, but far too often they're just left behind because people associate them as only being useful during those fights with beasts and dragons. The truth is, they have great stats, a wide range of builds, and their access to jump to Dragonfly, and their innate ability to enter bodies of water only further enhances their prowess on the battlefield. So uh, I definitely forgot to mention that as a notable skill, jump to, that is fire, y'all. Like, especially when you start getting into these uh, later maps in the game, like in Palace of the Dead, or even some a couple of post-game maps, you're gonna see that the elevation differences are really crazy sometimes and that jump 2 actually helps significantly and if jump 2 wasn't enough you even have dragonfly on top of that so dragoons are super dope i'm really digging them uh, i'm definitely gonna start running one more often I'm, this whole series has been like a learning experience for me between testing things out really getting my hands uh, you know dirty and into all the nitty gritty stuff uh, Coffee's notes uh, when, whenever he comments under these videos are fantastic as well. If you guys don't already, go follow Coffee, man. He is like the tactics ogre guy. I'm just a pebble compared to Coffee, which is like a river of knowledge. <laughs> so uh, definitely shout outs to Coffee, man. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, y'all. So next video is going to be the Sword Masters. Those are one of my favorite classes probably of all time in any srpg like i mean the the shenanigans i'm about to show y'all with sword <laughs> y'all don't even want to know bro but uh i'll catch y'all next time thanks everybody for all the views and all the engagement with the comments you guys are rocking it i've got a couple of little surprises for y'all i don't want to ruin anything no spoiler alerts no bad juju but i'm working on a couple of cool things for both the channel and uh just surprises in general so keep on the lookout um if this helped you if you enjoyed it drop me a like 
drop a sub, consider sharing it to a friend who's thinking of getting into Tactics Ogre, or any SRPG lover out there. And uh, yeah, y'all, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.